On the 17th of December, the church venerates Saint Olympius. Born sometime between 360 to 365, this pious, charitable, and wealthy disciple of Saint John Chrysostom came from an illustrious family in Constantinople. Her father was a count of the empire. One of her ancestors, Albebius, filled the councillor office in 331 and was also Praetorian Prefect of the East. As Olympius was not 30 years of age in 390, she cannot have been born before 361. Her parents died when she was quite young and left her an immense fortune. In either 384 or 385, she married Nebridius, prefect of Constantinople. In a short time, Nebridius died and Olympius was left a childless widow. She steadfastly rejected all new proposals of marriage, determining to devote herself to the service of God and to works of charity. Nectarius, bishop of Constantinople, consecrated her deaconess. On the death of her husband, the emperor had appointed the urban prefect administrator of her property. But in 391, after the war against Maximus, he restored to her the administration of her large fortune. She built beside the principal church of Constantinople a convent into which three relatives and a large number of maidens withdrew with her to consecrate themselves to the service of God. When St. John Chrysostom became Bishop of Constantinople in 398, he acted as spiritual guide of Olympias and her companions, and as many undeserving approached the kind-hearted deaconess for support, he advised her as to the proper manner of utilizing her vast fortune in the service of the poor. Olympias resigned herself wholly to Chrysostom's direction and placed at his disposal ample sums for religious and charitable objects. Even the most distant regions of the empire received her benefactions to churches and the poor. When Chrysostom was exiled, Olympius supported him in every way possible and remained a faithful disciple, refusing to enter into communion with his unlawfully appointed successor. Chrysostom encouraged and guided her through his letters, of which seventeen are extant. These are a beautiful memorial of the noble-hearted, spiritual daughter of the great bishop. Olympius was also exiled and died a few months after Chrysostom on July 25th, 408, probably at Nicomedia. After her death, she was venerated as a saint. A biography dating from the second half of the 5th century, which gives particulars concerning her from the Historia Luciaca of Palladius and from the Dialogus de Vita John Chrysostomi, proves the great veneration she enjoyed. During the riot of Constantinople in 532, the convent of St. Olympius and the adjacent church were destroyed. Emperor Justinian had it rebuilt and the prioress Sergia transferred there the remains of the foundress from the ruined church of St. Thomas in Broctes, where she had been buried. We possess an account of this translation by Sergia himself. The feast of St. Olympius is celebrated in the Greek church on July 24th and in the Roman church on December 17th. Having heard about the life of St. Olympius, let us place our petitions before her and all together say, St. Olympius, pray for us.